What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had an awesome holiday and ready to train again. Uh, today we are doing back workout again, similar to the chess video. So we're going to use minimal equipment, bars, dumbbells and rings. And uh, yeah, same principle. I'm going to show, run you through the sets, the reps, tempo as well. Also give you alternatives if you need to adapt your training. The back is a hard one to train because you can't see it. So what I, I'm going to show you is how to activate your lats and I know that doesn't make sense but you would understand when I run through that with you. I'm going to do two different, one stretch and one exercise to activate your lats before we go straight into training our back. So let's go. Okay so before we start we're going to activate our lats. Um, or what I would normally even say is waking up the lats. Training back is tricky for most as you cannot see your back. So to truly effectively train your back, you need to feel the muscle working or mind muscle connection. So first we start with these lat stretches with the bands. If, you, if done correctly, you will be able to feel the stretch on your lats. So do these for about 10 to 15 second holds on both sides. And then secondly, we are going to do some banded lat pull downs. These again are great for activating your lats. If you have a lat pull down machine, use that, but keep the weight light. Make sure to really focus on pulling the band down towards your lats. And you do that by squeezing your lats every time you pull the bands down towards your body and keep squeezing even when going back up so you pull the bands down squeeze keep squeezing your lats till you go all the way back up make sure you use a uh, light resistant band so you don't want it to be uh, too hard uh, of a resistance do about 20 reps with the resistant band pull downs if you only have one band that's fine, do one side at a time. By doing these two simple routines, it really makes a difference when you get into training your back. Onto the first workout, starting with ring pull-ups, which is probably one of the best workouts, uh, one of the best exercises that's helped develop my back. I've started using the rings, I would say, if probably for a few months and it's just, I prefer it over anything else it the best thing about using the rings it allows unilateral work and eliminates imbalances as both sides are working equally we will be doing four sets first two sets aim for about 12 reps at a two second eccentric as you can see in the video uh, how slow I am going down on the eccentric make sure you squeeze your lats every single time you go up hold it for a second and keep squeezing even when going all the way down by doing so you are keeping the muscle under constant tension making it work harder if done right you will struggle to do more than 12 reps on these I have always done a two sometimes four second eccentric tempo on pull-ups never rush this movement however some of you might not have rings or you probably struggle to do pull-ups in general with rings so use a bar that's out that's fine if you struggle with uh, body weight pull-ups on a bar use a resistant band the same rule applies also with the tempo I prefer underhand pull-ups as it's less stress on elbows and I find I can squeeze my lats a lot better at the concentric phase of the movement but it's just my preference so if you prefer overhand pull-ups that's absolutely fine on the third and fourth set to make it a little bit more challenging you can use a weighted belt and add some weight uh, again same principle with the tempo if you don't have a dip belt another tip is to use a backpack put some weight on it you know put some weight in the backpack for extra weight or if you have a weighted vest that's 
just as good also. Next we're on to underhand grip, barbell bent over rows, knees slightly bent and as you can see make sure you lean forward almost looking directly at the ground. I like to bring, bring the bar towards my abs as well when rowing upwards. We're going to do about 12 reps on each set, aim for a 2 second eccentric, usually aiming for about 4 sets, add in some more weights each set. So remember we're also aiming to fail before 12 reps so if you're doing more than 12 reps it's too light so up the weight. On the fourth set we will be doing a drop set of three so aim for 12 reps then drop the weight and aim for 8 to 10 drop it again and aim for 8 to 10 reps so that's what a drop set is a drop set usually counts as one set again if you struggle with barbell rows or have an imbalance use a dumbbell to do bent over rows again same position make sure you really focus on squeezing your lats at the top of the movement I actually alternate each week with barbell and dumbbell rows just so to avoid imbalances and then we will be supersetting barbell rows with an incline dumbbell trap raise now watch the video carefully if you haven't done these before the first thing is the most important thing is keep the weight light I'm using a 6 kilo dumbbell in the video the second thing is shrug your shoulders up as you can see in the video and hold that position and then lift the dumbbells straight up in front you want to slowly lower down the dumbbell and relax the shrug so the key is to hold that shrug position all the way through the movement and then relax once you get the dumbbells back down you you shouldn't feel your delts on this movement and if you are feeling your delts reduce the weight and focus your attention your attention on lifting the dumbbell up with your traps I know some of you would think that this movement works your delts but wait till you try it trust me it really works your traps aim for four sets 10 to 12 reps and keep the eccentric phase the tempo to about three seconds when bringing the dumbbells back down so we're supersetting the rows with the dumbbell trap raise. So you do one set of the barbell rows and then superset with a dumbbell trap raise. Quick note, this will be, the exercises will be written in the description box as well. Um, so you don't have to remember every single one or every single set as explained in the video so next we will be doing incline dumbbell rows and super setting with ring rows with the incline rows on the bench keeping the bench at probably about a 40 degree uh, incline we're aiming for again 4 sets 10 to 12 reps with a 2 to 3 second eccentric tempo I like to start with both dumbbells, the tip of the dumbbells touching and aligning them slightly at an angle, almost making a pyramid shape and then rowing the dumbbell all the way up, hold for about a second, squeeze the hell out of your lats and then bring the dumbbell slowly down for about two to three seconds. So if you pay close attention to the video you would understand what I mean by uh, start, the start position. We'll superset with ring rows as you can see I start very close to the floor almost vertical and when you roll up hold again for about a second and keep squeezing your lats even at the eccentric phase for about three seconds so roll up hold for a second and then three seconds down and repeat for about 12 reps 
to progress this movement, elevate your feet using a bench or plates. Alternatively, if you don't have rings, use a TRX and do exactly the same thing. Another note, if you find it difficult to start almost vertical to the floor, these are other positions you could do to make the movement slightly easier until you progress into starting vertically from the uh, to the floor. In, and then we'll finish with some single arm dumbbell rows. We're gonna alternate between close, elbows close and elbows wide with the rows. I'll explain why and how I do those. With dumbbell rows, I'm sure everybody knows this exercise, this movement. Here is what I do slightly differently. First, I like to start with the dumbbell slightly in front of me rather than by my side. Then I pull the dumbbell up towards my sides, keeping elbows close to my body, as you can see in the video. I prefer doing rows this way as I can fully stretch and pull in the dumbbell and squeeze my lats and avoid using too much momentum in terms of you know my body going up and down no jerking movements with your body just using your arms only and your lats again a two second tempo on the eccentric and a one second pause and squeeze when you bring your elbows up towards you we'll be doing about four sets the first set is a close grip row and then the second we will be alternating with a wide row which just means bringing your elbows out rather than keeping it close to the body I do this because when, with training back I like to make sure I'm hitting my back from every angle and leaving no stone on turn if you want better stability use a bench and put your feet on the bench to support you even better we'll be doing four sets and alternate between elbows close and wide so alternate close and wide four times so that's it that's the workout it's Again, remember, like I've explained to you guys, it's all about time under tension. Don't rush it. You don't need to put too much weight on. Just be careful of technique. Try and make sure that you, will con you feel the muscle every time you're training your back. It's not about you know, going too heavy or going crazy. It's keeping that tension constantly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up because you guys did on the chest video and it's awesome and I appreciate it. And for those of you who've been asking, I plan to release some of these hoodies. For those that want it, it is coming. And again, more videos to come. Thank you for watching. Peace out.